making intention, inshallah, to have a small sahba also as a sunnah for, uh, from our tariqah, inshallah. And asking guidance, support and uh, leading from our shaykh, inshallah. And through him from Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, is this okay? Come on, here. yeah, no? Yeah, it's okay, I mean, it's okay. <coughs> oh, what to say? Yeah, I need some keywords, keywords. Throw, throw some keywords. Trust. Trust. Oh, yeah, that's good. One more key word. Hasad. Hasad? How I bring together these two? <laughs> it's good, it's very good, mashallah. <laughs> Trust and Hasad. It's okay. <clears throat> Alhamdulillah, we're saying again welcome, mashallah, ahla wa sahla. Everyone, welcome. Hosha Medid, it's welcome. Benvenuto. Uh, bienvenidos, vadas. Bienvenidos. Ah, bienvenidos. I, I was talking Brazilian language, it was not Spanish. Brazilian is bienvenidas. Nobody can prove me wrong because there's no Brazilians here. They will believe me now. Maybe there's some, I don't know. So, yes, we're saying welcome. Welcome. Also, I'm saying to myself, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we are very happy. We are warming up. We're warming up. Mashallah, getting started. Maybe one third of the people already here. And becoming more, mashallah, more and more nowadays. And it's good to see so many young people, especially Sheikh Mehmet. He's also so happy every time when we tell him that young people are coming. And also I'm walking and seeing that also many faces I don't know also, mashallah, that's good. So it means people bringing other people, saying, telling their friends, and having good time, alhamdulillah. And yes, one verse in the Holy Quran saying, "Awwaz Billahi min Shaitan Rajim wa In Taudu Niyamat Allahi La Tahsuha In Allah La Ghafur Rahim." And saying was correct. Okay. I don't want to say wrong ayat here. You know that's why. <clears throat> it means if you if you want to count the Niyama of Allah, if you want to count the gifts of Allah and favors of Allah which He giving to us, you cannot count them. They are countless, you know, they are countless. No, that's, uh, you can start from one thing and you can never end, you know, if you try to count favors from Allah Jalla Jalla And big favor, there's two very big favors. You know, maybe it's, I think it's the biggest favors which you can give to people. And first one is that he makes somebody to believe in him. That he chose a human being to believe in Allah. That is the biggest gift. And together with this gift is if he grant you to be in good companionship. These are two great gifts from Allah Jalla Jalla And what does it mean to be, to be with good people? You know, we don't count ourselves as good people, no. 
Oh yeah, I mean, each one knows themselves. Yeah, so if you know yourself, you know how you count to, <laughs> to what maybe you are all good, but I know how, how I can count myself to which part. So, this doesn't matter. We have faults and still we say we, be, we are among good people because we have need to be following Prophet Muhammad We have need to be from Muslims. We have need to follow our Shaykh. And that's why when we meet each other we are saying we are among good people. Even everyone has faults, everyone has mistakes. Doesn't matter. Why, why good? Because Allah chose them to have, even if it's just a spark, of belief in their heart. Trying to know who is Allah. Trying to know what is Allah. Yeah, who? You know. Trying to recognize their Lord. If somebody has this, he's a good, good one. Sure. You may count him as a good one. Doesn't matter. Even so many mistakes, so many sins, whatever. But he tried to recognize his Lord. Yes, he's a good one. It's a very small thing, actually. Each one can choose this. If Allah wants, can choose this. It's the action of the heart. Yeah. It belongs to the unseen actions which your heart is doing yeah, between you and Allah Jalla Jalaluhu but it's so valuable and Holy Quran is written for example that now you can see how Allah is making clear the value of that small thing only to believe in him and this prophet sure you know saying don't for example don't marry uh, unbeliever until they believe, or mushrik, somebody who is idol worshiping, until they believe. And saying a uh, believing uh, servant is higher, much better for you to, to marry than a, uh, somebody who doesn't believe in Allah. You know, even if they have so high status, even they are rich, even they have power, whatever. For you, it's much better. You marry poor one, non-influential one, and from man and from, from woman. But they have a little bit of belief in their heart. Even if it's just a small sparkle. This makes a human being to be a human being, to be valuable. You know? And that's why we're saying, even we have mistakes, but on sins and so many things, Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, he chose you to look for him. And Sheikh, even Sheikh Mehmed, I was uh, witnessing, he, somebody new came to him, yeah, new, and asking about, they don't know anything, just asking about, oh, first asking me, yeah, first came to me, asking, what is this? Uh, this is all about this thing. What what you guys doing? You know. I'm saying it's, it's an answer. I, I'm saying to realize why you are here. What, why what is the reason of your creation? I'm saying to that one. Talk a little bit. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh Mehmet had time. We was an opening. We went to him, asking Sheikh Mehmet, sitting a little bit, asking him the same question. And Shaykh Muhammad, the first thing he said was the same thing. He said to fulfill your uh, reason of existence. How to fulfill your reason of existence. To know why you are existing. And then he gave a very nice explanation also. He said, in the Quran is written, وَمَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ إِلَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِ yeah? There is nothing existing except it is worshipping Allah. Nothing is existing. If something, and then he was pointing on the table, 
He was pointing on the stone, saying the stone is worshipping Allah Jalla Jalla Saying the table is worshipping Allah Jalla Jalla And yeah? the, the wood, everything is worshipping Allah. Uh, and if they would not, they would not exist. They would not even existing. You must think about this. Nothing existing except worshipping Allah Jalla Jalla. Then he said, except human being, maybe ourselves, what they do, we don't know, but trying to refuse it. So he said, to starting point to come on the way is to recognize your Lord, to recognize Allah, to make zikr, to remember Allah. He said, this is the beginning. This is the beginning to fulfill, to fulfill the reason of your existence. To recognize Allah, Jalla Jalla, recognize your Lord, why you are here. And then, in the end, the, this, this one was saying to Shaykh Muhammad, saying, Oh, Shaykh, it was such a pleasure to have met you. Thank you very much for the words. And then Shaykh Muhammad, he replied, Also, I'm happy to meet you, because every day, Shaykh Muhammad always saying, We, meaning when he speak, he don't say like the, to say I. He said, we, every day we are making dua to meet good people. He say, and that's why I'm happy also to meet you. Like saying my dua is accepted. You know? So even Sheikh Mehmet, every day he's making dua, make me to meet with good people. Make me to be with good people. To have good company. You know? And that's why we are thanking Allah Jalal Jalaluhu for this ni'mah, and this is one of this ni'mah, as we say, there is countless ni'mahs, Allah is saying, countless favors from Allah, and this is one of his favors, that he make us to be together in companionship with believing people. Yes. People who are looking, looking for Allah. That's we are thinking and we are hoping that Allah will bless this meeting from beginning to end, inshallah. And let everyone take good companions for their life, inshallah, good knowledge for their life, and especially who like to learn Quran, who like to learn basic things of uh, Islam and also to increase your love for, for that way, increase your love for Allah, for Prophet, for the Shaykhs and for each other especially. Yeah. That's why what this two guys saying in the beginning is good advice also. You know, when we are looking to each other, very good. Because to love the Sheikh is very easy, or not? It's very easy. He's such a lovely person. I mean, for me, it's not so difficult, you know, because in San Kamil, I think each one can love him. Prophet also, each one was loving him. But to love each other, it's a good test, you know. To love each other with faults and with, and to not look to the faults, but to look to, to the soul of that one and to the uh, light of that one. This demands trust, you know that we may trust in each other, you know. Trust in Allah, Jalla Jalaluhu. Trust in, in that way. Trust in your heart. Forget all your doubts, your... Uh, shaitanic doubts, you can say. Yeah. Shaitan trying to make a big discussion in your mind how things have to be, how things should go. But in the end, everything is under the control of Allah Jalla Jalla. 
Now you must believe in that. As much as we believe in that, we will, we will be relaxed. And as much as we do that, we don't look to each other also with um, what he was saying, hasad means uh, uh, to envy each other. No, don't envy. If you see something, somebody has good things, say, oh Allah, the, mashallah, you gave him that, give him more even. <laughs> give him more. And what happens if you do that? It's promised if you do a dua for somebody, for example, Allah immediately, he sent two angels. These two angels, they will make dua for you. Give him the same also. Give him the same also. Two angels. So if you see something good, somebody has something good, Something nice, whatever. You quickly you say, "Oh Allah, that's so nice you give him. Give him more." You know, make this, try this. Trust in your brother. Trust in Allah that He has the best arrangement. Everything He's sending is coming from everything coming to you, coming from Him. It's a practice, you know. I'm just talking about the practice, you know. And <laughs> to master that, you need many several lifetimes. Uh, some chosen ones they may do, but I'm just talking as a practice, you know, with the help of our Shaykh, as a Niyan. Say this, and if you see good things, wish even more for your, for your brother. Then you may master this biggest and most difficult task, and this task only is the one that will let you enter real Iman to love also your brother and sister. As, as you love even yourself. No? Yeah. This is a good practice, inshallah, you know. Take it easy, don't take your ego too serious, you know, and your pride and whatever, all these things. Don't take it serious. Let people insult you even, it's good. If somebody insults you, say thank you very much. Thank you for insulting. You may say to him, uh, you are so clever that you see this. So many people, they don't see this. Somebody say to you, no, you, you dirty pig, for example. You say, mashallah, you can see this. Allah Akbar, so many people, they are blind. And also you can say to him, my ego even needs much, much more insult than only this one. Continue, continue. You know, make your ego down a little bit. Yeah, don't defend it all the time. How you want to fight your ego, but you defend it all the time. You fight for it, not against it. You fight for it. The ego is insulted. You quickly you fight. I fight for my ego. <laughs> Why are you fighting for your ego? Fight for Allah and fight against the ego. Yes, let this not be only empty words, inshallah, for me and for you. You are already doing it. May Allah forgive us, inshallah, bless you. In the name of Habib, in the name of the Sirsat al-Fatiha.